What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Gym Leader Geo, and this is the APA Week 3 matchup of the San Francisco Giantes against the Durham Drudagons and their coach, Six Foot Hacks, aka Leo. If you are curious about the team that I brought, you can see it over there. And I talk about it a little bit more in depth in the locker room, which is the video that went up immediately prior to this one. So we are live again. No need for a post com because I was not in Minnesota this week. I am still a little bit behind schedule. Normally we try and have our battles about a week in advance, uh, but this is uh, due tomorrow. Wanted to get it done during the week, but I didn't have time. And then on the days that I did have time, Leo didn't have time. So it just didn't work out, but we're going to choose our participating team. It's going to be team one. We're going to confirm. What music are we going to listen to, guys? Gets us? Rainbow Rocket? What are we going to listen to? Yeah, Rainbow Rocket. Okay. Uh, I've got my screen. I've got my, my damage calcs over here. I'm going to say... Good luck, have fun. I think I'm ready. Let the battle begin. Oh, nerve sighted. Leo's a good, a uh, really good battler. So let's click off some names here. Uh, so he does have the Greninja. He has the Bronzong. Feel like that's going to be heat proof. He has the Skun Tank. Aftermath, why not? He has the Coco, Tapu Coco. He has the Swampert. And he has the Mega Gallade. Okay. Uh, I can also click it over here. I still got 49 seconds. No Licky Licky, no Tangrowth, no Chandelure, no Lando Eye, no Verbombi. Okay, and looking at my team, given that, I mean, if he wanted to be a rocker, it'd be a Bronzong. Bronzong's not amazing against Bronzong. Could also be a Spikes lead. Uh, let's lead with a uh, remix here. I can always go two chains. I can always go two chains on the Swampert if it's a Swampert lead. I can get an immediate scout off on something. If he's trying to start off offensive, I can get a good read on that too. If he really wanted to get like a Mega Gallade Evo off right away, that would be unfortunate because I'll be regular Gallade. Ric Flair! He did lead Gallade. Ah, man. I just said that too. Oof. Bummer. Well, at least I'll learn. Justified and steadfast. Shadow Sneak, X Scizor, Protect, and Knock Off. Let's type that in over here. Shadow Sneak, Knock Off, X Scizor, and Protect. Well, um. I mean, he's gonna mega evolve. So I'm not in an amazing position. What do I got, 49 seconds? At least I know he can't set up, but Shadow Sneak will hurt. Shadow Sneak will hurt a lot. Uh, let's go with, yeah, let's go with Shadow Sneak here. He's gonna mega evolve. Obviously I can't, but um, if he's justified, then he can't really click knock off against me. See, he's got some bulk on him. Uh, he's gonna go for the X Scizor. That's gonna do about 60, 50. So he does have some bulk for sure. He can switch up his moves. And I just need to weaken him enough. I do have another Scarfer in Lady Gargar. Let's see what she can do to a pretty bulky Mega Gallade. Like, he must be really bulky actually. At the very least, I, th I think he's probably like 252 HP or something. Gardevoir. Excisor will hurt, but he's in Moonblast range, so I could switch out and save this. He could also go for knockoff here. Another option would be to go two chains. Nah, I'm just gonna stay in Shadow Sneak again, I think. We'll see if he elects. He might have gone knockoff predicting the switch. Now he's just going to X Scissor again. Yeah, that's fine. Remix will go. That's okay because I weakened the Gallade. I'm okay with that. 
He's got the Bronzong, so I think now's not the right time for Metagross, but I kind of got to do something here. I might just, you know, I might just go Lady Gargar. I probably should have switched late hard Lady Gargar, actually, and kept the Ditto. I probably should have done that. Shadow Ball will take it out, fortunately, so I might be able to just click that instead. Moonblast will do a lot. Uh, his immediate switch, if he's predicting Moonblast, would be the... Oh, he has Protect, so he might just click that to see. So how much will a Moonblast do to a Bronzong? Because I would rather Bronzong come in. I think he's going to click Protect. Moonblast will do almost nothing to a Bronzong, but he's going to click Protect here, so I have to click Moonblast. Oh, he's going to hard withdraw into Ben the Skun Tank. It's neutral. Choice Banded Pursuit won't take me out, but a Choice Banded Poison Jab will. But given how much Moonblast did, I think he's Assault Vest. Poison Jab will still take him out. Can I? I can't lose my speed control. Pursuit won't kill me. Do I think he's going to Pursuit or Poison Jab? When I still have a Metagross? Um, I'm going to play Ballsy here because I kind of have to. I'm going to Moonblast predicting he, he Pursuits. Ah, crunch. Shouldn't kill. Perfect. Perfect, okay. I mean, he could sucker punch. He could definitely sucker punch. Which would do less than crunch, so it probably wouldn't kill. So I'm just going to moon blast again. I think he'll sucker punch here. No, he's going to hard withdraw. Bronzong? William. He's only going to do like 15. Yeah. Not very effective. So let's go into two chains here. I think he'll get up rocks. So I can get up rocks. Although I could T-Wave on the first turn. T-Wave right now. No, it's Rocks first. I definitely like Rocks first. He could be like Defog Coco. I value Rocks here. He's going to withdraw. What are we thinking? Skun Tank again? Yeah. I mean, that could be a defogger, too. He won't do much to me. I might kill him with a U-turn. Maybe. Let's U-turn. He's just going to go for the crunch. He's going to pop my berry. Hmm. <laughs> Gets the defense drop. This could be a kill. All right, it does. I take an aftermath. That's okay. So scun tank down. Now, now what? I think Z drive. As long as Z drive can take Greninja. I'm pretty sure Greninja is just going to be like, I feel like he would just be specs. So I just want to know if I can take a specs dark pulse. No, I can't. I feel like Greninja is the play here. 
Shatter Sneak would also be a little bit of a problem. So Z Drive and Meloetta. Z Drive has fewer opportunities to set up, so let's do that. He also doesn't like know that I'm not Assault Vest, but if Greninja is not Specs, he shouldn't be able to kill me. So I can go Agility. Just really go for it. Uh, I could really go for it here. <laughs> There's still a Bronzong around, uh, which is a bummer because I really don't have anything for it. Although if the Bronzong does come in against me, I mean, I don't think it'll come in now, but if it did come in against me after I got like a weakness policy up, I'm clicking Earthquake against it because I really honestly think he's fireproof. Rick Flair. Um, knockoffs I'm going to do 50% and I can get this set up right here. Let's do it. Did a lot. I think I survived the shadow sneak, but that knockoff did more damage than I anticipated. Have I been calking Jolly? I have. That sucks. I think I died of the shadow sneak. 28 to 34. I think I do. But I kind of had to do this. I hope I live Shadow Sneak. There's a chance. Yes! Alright, Gallade goes down. I'm super weak here. If Bronzong comes out, I'm so clicking Earthquake. Greninja, is that also going to be Scarfed then? We find out. Yeah. Oh, Water Shuriken. All right, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> That's okay though. I'm willing to trade. I want to check one thing because he did kill with the water shuriken in a single hit and I don't think that really matters okay good to know that he has that but I didn't get any real answer as to what item he's running water shuriken should not do too much if I go back into the guard of war I should outspeed him unless he's scarfed Let's do that. I need to keep Lady Gargar around. Oh, I need to click off Metagross as well. Shadow Ball on the Switch. Do I lose to Greninja if I don't? It, I feel like he knows this. He could um, potentially kill me if he gets high rolled on that Water Shuriken. So he might go for it. I have to Moonblast here. I know he's going to switch. He's going to switch into the Bronzong. I don't mind getting some chip on that Bronzong. I can always go Mellow on that Bronzong as well. He's probably calculating whether or not Water Shuriken will kill. At three hits, it won't. It's 13 per hit. He is going to withdraw. So he's going to go hard into Bronzong. Team player. He's actually going to go into the Swampert. Did quite a lot. Got a special attack drop, which doesn't really matter. It did probably 40-ish. I mean, he's at like 50%. He would have taken 6.25. He's about 50. Got a special attack drop. I guess what's Meloetta take from him? I don't really know his set. Like, he could just be offensive. But I think that's defensive stats. Earthquake's like 30 to 35%. I could take one of those 
get in, call mine once. Probably better to just go two chains though, because if he's scald, uh, he's got his attack drop, and if he's, he might just double. Also, I didn't think about that. Two chains is not that important right now though. Back into Greninja. Bronzong. Knock off first. I appreciate Chip on this and if it's Aka Berry or something that's useful information. You might just explode. It's gonna trick room. Mm. What, does he want a gyro ball sweep? T-Wave. He might explode here. He could explode or he could gyro ball here. I mean, maybe that's an offensive Swampert? Signal Beam. Oh, that's cool. Offensive Ronzong. I do get the T-Wave off. We can kind of hope for some full paras here. And um, we can keep an eye on the trick room turns. And uh, Marshmallow. Oh, I kind of want him to kill me, actually. I really want him to kill me. He'll outspeed me. So I can U-turn here. Save it as a sack. So here's, here's my thinking. I U-turn here because he outspeeds me. Uh, but he might full para, and then I'm in on Mellow, and have this as a sack later. There's the full para. Another thing, actually, is the Victini. I could go Victini. We know he's got Signal Beam, but... I mean, does he really have much else? How many more turns of this, though? Um, used it, turn one. Signal beam. Full para. He could hard switch on the Victini. I can always sack, though. This might be an opportunity. So I got two opportunities here. One is Victini sets up a flame charge Flame charge, and then there's one more turn though. I don't think he can kill me, but he could definitely switch. Whereas Mello could set up. I don't really see any offensive pressure. Yeah, let's do that. Calm mind first. Oh, the double para. This could be really big, actually. This could be really big. That is a bad para for him. I think it makes sense for me to go again. That did not do a lot of damage. He might want to set up another trick room, which is negative priority. How many do I need of this? Oh my God. That is very low amounts of damage. What about that Tapu Koko being physical? Wild charge hitting for like 50%? Interesting. 
I mean, I'm bulky. I think I don't... I think I shouldn't mess around with William. If he sets up a trick room again... And the Swampert comes in, he'll outspeed. Let's just let's claim a kill here. Let's not be let's not be worried about this. Bronzong goes down. That's the Coco. Fifty to sixty-one. He's gonna outspeed. Hit for a max of one eighteen, assuming he's naive. Oof. He could be like adamant. Max of one thirty. Oh, he still can't kill me. So I can actually Z heal bell here. Unless he's packing something that I don't know coverage-wise for him. Oh, he could Z, like Z Twinkle Tackle or something. Z Wild Charge? He's definitely, this is definitely a Z Mon. I'm like convinced of it now. Z Wild Charge will kill. If he's special, will Z Thunderbolt and do I gamble at that point? What else can I do? What else can I set up against? Almost nothing. I'm going to Z heal bell here because I want him to blow his Z. Cause, just because he might be special. Oh, he's actually going to U-turn. That shouldn't kill me. Did a lot. Did a lot. Because I was at 131. I need to do math. <laughs> he's going to think he's sacking this and he's so not. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait. No, it still healed me. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't see what my health was down to, uh, so I can't tell if it's physical or not. I think it was in the 40s, and I think that's, I think honestly that's a U-turn, that's like a high roll U-turn. So I'm back a bit full. There's no reason not to hyper voice here, uh, and just stay at full health. Team player goes down. That's a crit. I don't think that mattered, although who knows? <laughs> I feel like it should not matter. I was at plus two. Like it could have been offensive because maybe he was like a trick room setup. Plus two hyper voice does like 65. What if he was assault vest? I can ask later if it mattered. 44 to 52. All right, he's back on Minato. I think I just want damage. I don't think he can kill me. I think even Z Wild Charge won't kill me. But one thing to consider is... Hyper Voice Oko's. I think he U-turns twice. Like, is he banded? How much damage did that U-turn do? No, if he was banded, he would have hit me for like 122. Was I that close to dead? Maybe I was. Well, I still think I, I think I just click hyper voice here. Try and claim some damage. There's the wild charge. 193 down to 25. Oh my God. That's banded, right? Yeah. Hey. 
168. That is a banded wild charge. Yeah. That's a like a 70% roll, like a high roll. Mid high roll, wild charge, banded from a naive set. Um, this puts him in a position to click. Should I have switched there? I don't know what Victini does. I think I should have switched there. I wonder. Did I goof? It's going to come down to Guard of War surviving. I think it comes down to whether or not I can... I, I don't know what his item is on the Greninja. Water Shuriken when I'm at plus two. Actually might not even kill. Seven per hit. Well, let's do it then. Let's do it. Come on, only two hits. Oh, man. That's too bad. They do between six and seven per hit. If he'd gotten... Right now, that's a little more than that. So either he's modest. That's still only six or seven. He might be specs. Because he killed me in three. I had six HP left after two from 25. He did 19 with two hits, which means 10 or nine per hit. That's like modest specs. I'm pretty sure that's modest specs. I don't know how else he could have possibly gotten that. Um, if he gets three hits, Water Shuriken definitely can kill. Bolt Strike will kill. I don't think Lady Gargar survives this. Yep, it's gonna it's gonna come down to this. I think what I should have done was sacked Mesprit against the banded. It's going to come down to this. If he gets three here, then I go down. If he gets three, I go down. Oh my god. I lived! Big Teeny! Kill this man! He did it! Victini the goat! Victini the freaking god! He survives three! He survives three! No high roll the day! Oh my word, those paras were huge! Oh my god. That is a 3-0 victory. Oh my god. It literally came down to that. It came down to, do you high roll three times? He would have needed to get the 48 roll three times. And that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of the 16 rolls. He needed that three times. He would have had to get three 48s. There's a 50 in there. But, but all that, um, so I mean, ultimately it came down to, that came, it came down to luck, right? So he got a roll against me, uh, I got a roll against him on the damage there, as well as the double paras, which are pretty huge. Yeah, that's huge. What a great game though, Leo. Amazing game. Really sorry about the hacks, buddy. Uh, he's messaging me on Discord. I'm going to go uh, talk to him. Definitely check him out. And also a massive shout out to my friend, Kurt the Buzzwool, who genned my team this week. I really appreciate you. There was a very last minute, like I need it now. But honestly, ah, I'm feeling so good right now about this. Can't wait to share this with you guys. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.